wet out there this morning as we take a look at the forecast at 7 o'clock. It's still going to be fairly wet across central Alabama. Some rain will continue to be moving out of the area. We should see improving conditions as far as the rain is concerned, though, by the mid to late morning hours. But temperatures are going to be falling through the day today. We're basically hitting our high temperature now, and then it's going to get colder as this front comes through. Numbers by 9 o'clock will be down to about 40 degrees, at least in the metro area. 445 is the time on WVTM 13 Live Doppler, and you can see we've got some pretty heavy rain now here with the leading edge of this is so shifting into many of our eastern counties, but even behind this leading edge that's really had some of the gustier winds. The rain is still coming down pretty steady uh, and heavy too here in the parts of Shelby County down to I-65. You can see close to Montevallo, the stretch of, of uh, Alabaster down toward Calera and then even further west, West Blockton, Woodstock, all of those areas, McCalla, the rain coming down a little bit heavier in spots. Now the cold front will come through uh, through the, uh, the morning hours and the our temperatures will fall. Look at these numbers now. We're at 54 in Birmingham, some upper 50s though in Anniston, but we're already down into the low 40s here in Haleyville. 43 in Tupelo, so that's what we're expecting. Those 40s to continue to spread our direction through the morning hours. And so you can see by 9 o'clock, low 40s, 11 o'clock down into the 30s, and then we will continue to fall into the upper 30s as we head into this afternoon. The wind will stay very gusty through the day today, so wind chill temperatures by the mid to late afternoon hours are expected to be down into the 20s in many locations. By around 6, 7 o'clock later on this evening, we're expecting temperatures to to drop close to the freezing mark. Nine o'clock, we will be below freezing. And you'll notice our rain chances will continue to drop through the morning hours. So we do expect improvement where that's concerned, but I've kept the impact symbol on the planner through the day today just because it is going to be so windy and so cold through the end of the day. All right, let's talk about later on this afternoon and especially into tonight. So the rain gets out of here. But with that cold air advection coming in on the northwest uh, off the uh, the northwesterly winds, we may be able to generate at least a few snow flurries, especially in some of the higher elevations here in northeast Alabama a little bit later on tonight and in through early on Friday morning. So if you do see a few snow flurries flying, especially through about the mid to late morning hours tomorrow morning, not a huge surprise there should be very little impacts. If there's any moisture left on the roads though tonight, if the winds don't help to dry that out and there's a little bit left. There could be some spotty black ice to deal with with those temperatures turning so cold by tomorrow morning. Low 20s Christmas morning wind chills in the teens and then you'll notice over the weekend we will moderate during the afternoons. Carla. All right, thanks, Steph. Our time right now is 447 and now a look at coronavirus here in Alabama. This morning there are 271,000